website address down there. Uh, stand up and speak out, kind of a start as a quick Facebook event, but everybody needs to come out, stand up, speak out for ourselves, because it's not going to happen unless we make it happen, and that's basically the idea. So people don't even have to join, all they have to do is stand up and speak out. I agree. Hey, uh, while I've got you here, can I ask you a question? Yeah. I'm wondering, I'm getting ready to start with a friend of mine, we're going to try to do a... Uh, a global meditation for positivity on a certain date at a certain time. How would you feel about something like that? Just to pump out the positive energies. It'd be, it'd be interesting. I mean, I haven't uh, done meditation for quite a while. We were actually talking about that right before we came up. But I think it would be a good way just to say Christians utilize prayer and a communal sense of being. That would definitely be a good way to get everybody together and participate without having to go out and speak out and so on. Fantastic. Yeah. I agree, man. Thanks. I gotta zoom in. Okay. You got the what? I was able to buy this off the National Normal website. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, we have Vader. Let's Did I? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, she's got a really cool one too. If you see, you get hers on. Whoops, let me back up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Every minute you Thank you.
Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I was confused. Oh, that's all right. I do it all the time. Thanks for leaving. Thanks for
Yes, sweet cannabis. I'll, I'll get you out of there. Hey, what do you think about what's going on here? I don't really have an opinion. No? No. I have an opinion. Hey, what would you say if I told you marijuana could cure cancer? I would say if it could be possible, then why not? So if it could cure cancer, it should be legal? I mean, if, I don't know how much research has been done on it. Quite a bit. So, so. Well, I mean, yeah, but, yeah, I mean, it's all up to what people think, so. Fair enough, man. Freedom, man, right? Thanks a lot. No problem. <laughs> Cancer. Cancer, glaucoma. Multiple sclerosis. Multiple sclerosis that is being used in treatment and that our government has a patent on under the name of cannabis saliva is ridiculous. These people hold our rights in trust. They are our rights and we demand them. Free yeah. the weed. Free the weed. Do not, do not allow yourself to be cowed. Do not allow yourself think that you are the only person that all of society is banding, is coming down on. If we band together, if we hold to our beliefs, if we fight, if we fight from this step forward, if we say, here is a position from which I will not retreat, here is a place from which there is no going back, I now commit myself to go forward to fight for my rights and the rights of my children. Who here is with me? Yeah! Will you commit yourself to fight for your own rights? Absolutely! Will you, will you commit yourself to fight for the rights of your children? Yes! Will you fight for the rights of your grandparents? Absolutely! We have something. It's a petition to decriminalize marijuana in the city of St. Louis. We need volunteers to collect signatures for this petition. Which one of you, whom of you, will stand up and say, I am a king, I am a queen, I decide my destiny. Come with me, and we will defeat these people. Yeah! If we stick together, 
if we stay together, if we do not allow ourselves to be separated over issues of politics or race, we can defeat these people. Oh! I say this is a start. I say from here we go forward. I say that the journey of a thousand miles starts from where we stand. One step. One step forward and another step forward. Let us free the weed. Free the weed! Thank you very much. Thank yeah! You. That was good, wasn't it? Everybody having a good time? Yeah! Get a lot of hugs on the way down? Yeah! yeah. All right. Well, welcome. Thanks for coming out on this beautiful, sunny day. And couldn't have a better day for a national, actually worldwide cannabis march, could we? No. <laughs> Every day is beautiful on cannabis! Every day is beautiful on cannabis, That's yes. That's right. <laughs> That's a good theory. <laughs> yeah! yeah. Yeah. Come up and talk. I got the fact. <laughs> Come on up and talk. <laughs> For me? Yeah. <laughs> Tell these people what you got on your mind. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Hello, everyone. How you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. Good. I am. Uh, I'm a recovering alcoholic. I've completely destroyed my life on alcohol, ruined my family, and treated my wife like shit. Waking up in jail again, again, I realized something had to change. All of a sudden I had the thought, maybe, since I use chemicals anyways, maybe I could change that to marijuana instead of alcohol. I watched a movie called Super Hyman with a wonderful guy named Doug Benson. And uh, changed my life. So now I'm an activist. I found out that marijuana cures cancer. I strongly believe that if I could, I could prove that marijuana cures diabetes with the with the correct diet and Rick Simpson's hemp oil. How many of you know about Run from the Cure? It's a very concentrated hash oil. Rick Simpson found a way to uh, extract the THC and the cannabinoids and make a very potent potent. Uh, medicine from this natural herb that grows out of the ground. It's like nature in these trees over here. <clears throat> so, um, it's never killed anybody. Zero fatality rate. Zero fatality rate. Zero. Zero. Sorry. Zero. <laughs> None. Versus alcohol, which you can buy at almost any store here in America. Yes, you can. Have a great day, people. Thank you. At 24 hours a day, you can get that alcohol. All you gotta show them is an ID. It don't have to be your ID, but. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> as long as it was an ID, right? <laughs> as long as you got an ID. You're good to go. Excuse me. But, uh, yeah, thanks for coming out. And, uh,. The numbers are growing. I know there's a lot of support that is not out here today, but they they send their best witches and you know from the closet all the way. <laughs> from the closet. Have any testimonials here from other victims of the drug war? Got a victim. Have a good day. I'm here today is because when I was eight years old, 
I had to go get one of my family members out of jail because they had less than a gram with them. And a dick police officer decided to get them for them. That is that much, people. Come on. That is nothing. And besides that, it is a plant. It's ridiculous. So that's why whenever I'm out here today, I say, free the weed! Free the weed! Yeah. The fact is, is that what the first speaker came up here and said is that every step that we took here today was a victory. And the minute that we stand off of our, our soapbox that we're on today is the, day, is the day that we lose this. The fact is that every step that we took was a victory. And the more steps that we take is a bigger win for us. From here, it is a win. Hey, thank you very much. Big hand.